What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Son of Attack once again, and today I want to show you guys how to use the Unify Cloud Gateways to ditch your ISP's router, even if they tell you you can't. So, welcome to the channel. If this is your first time, I usually talk about cryptocurrency, etc. But part of mining cryptocurrency is setting up a robust home network. There are a lot of ISPs that will basically tell you that you have to use their router. And luckily there are a couple settings within the unified cloud gateways from Ubiquity that can allow you to bypass this in particular. Now, a few things you'll need is going to be your ISP's configuration. I recommend utilizing a dedicated IP if they do offer that for this setup because it'll make it a lot easier. If you do have an ISP that is basically utilizing any other form of dynamic, you'll have to look up some other configurations with Unify. Of course, this is for going to be for static. Now to find the information, I don't any longer have this router plugged up. So I'm just gonna tell you, depending on your router, it's going to change, but it should be under something called like internet. And from there you can find your public IP, your public subnet, which you'll need, and your public gateway. As long as you have those three things, you should be able to move forward. The final thing that you'll need that's really important is going to be the MAC address. You can either find the MAC address on the router itself or in the about tab on the router page. So those are a couple different ways that you can find it. Once you have that, you can move on over to the unified gateway and you can come down to your settings and click the internet button, select the primary WAN that you want to make the changes to. And then you're going to scroll down and check the box for Mac address clone. Type in the Mac address here. Scroll down and set your static IP for your IPv4 address, your subnet mask, and the gateway IP we discussed earlier. Once all of those things are set, you can basically just apply the settings, save, and then luckily at this point, you can trash this router. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. Just a quick note, of course, if you are utilizing dynamic DNS, there is an option here for that. And you'll have to basically get that configured if you are not utilizing a static IP. And uh, I don't have the particulars on that set up right now because that is not my current setup. So I don't know exactly what that looks like. But I hope you found this helpful. Be sure to hit the like, comment, subscribe, and notification bell down below. And I'll see you next Tuesday.